We're here at the Mats 2022. Right. And uh, standing here with Cody Warner. Yep. How are you, man? Good, good, good. You? Uh, doing good, doing good. good. Happy to be here. Yes, same way for me. Yep. Glad yeah. they finally had it. Yeah. Uh, so you got a great looking truck here. Thank and you, sir. And I was walking by and you said that it's got a great story, or you have a great story. Yeah. So let us have it. Uh, yeah, me and the truck got a long story together. Uh, 21 years ago, we showed here in 01 with this truck. I was uh, three years old, and typical three year old, in and out of a truck, tired, wore out, and uh, I fell out of it. I fell right out of the cab of it. Hit the ground here in 01, cracked my head. I was here for a week after the show, and uh, 21 years later, I drove this truck here by myself. Oh, me, me and my son, that's the same age as I was when I fell. Yeah. He's four, uh -huh. so it's kind of, kind of a, Short story, but yeah. kind of a neat one. Yeah, so. but um, I hope you watch your step in and I'll, out of the truck this weekend, yeah. right? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can catch myself a little bit quicker now. So, <laughs> right but yeah, it's uh, we've had this truck probably twenty six years or more now. Okay. Yep. So let's uh, let's walk around it and talk about it. Let's, All right. Uh, let's go around to the sunny side so All you right. can really see what this truck looks like here in the sun. Uh, you know, start with the year. It's a 81, 359, uh, 3408, uh, six and a four, 411 gears, mm -hmm. air track suspension. It's uh, got 264,000 original miles. Okay. That's actual accurate. Right. Uh, with the, my dad's known about this truck for years. Uh, a company over by us out of business now, they built this truck in 85. Okay. Uh, my dad bought it, he, he worked on it for two weekends, just getting it running. Okay. And uh, the guy that he bought it off of didn't know how to drive it. Really? Nope. Well, how that how that work? He, he had a truck, but he didn't know how to drive nope. it. Nope. He drove it to the, his his house, and as far as he it was it was only like five miles from where he bought the truck. Interesting. Okay. Yep. Well, I guess he did you guys a favor ultimately, huh? Yeah, because uh, uh, the weeds were growing up around it. Uh, the, it was sunk down in the mud. The tires were all flat. Didn't okay. run. Let's go this way and then right. look at more of it here. So yeah, so if they're sitting there, I'll. Dilapidated so, yep. almost. Dad, and the guy told Dad if he could get it around, he may sell it to him and take him for a ride. <laughs> so him and my uncle. Sounds they, like a trick. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they got her running, and Dad took him for a ride, and he was blown away how to shift it. And Dad, he sold it to Dad, but the guy won't ever sell nothing. That's the only thing I think he's ever sold. Really? Yep. Right. He's a hoarder. All yep. right, right. Well, yep. I'm glad he sold it. Yeah, me too. Because it wouldn't be it wouldn't be here today or look the shape it's in. Okay. So, so what else is special about this truck? It's just, uh, this, it's just got a, it's just a special truck to us. I mean, we, uh, this is my dad's first true show truck. This is what got him started. Really? Okay. Yeah. So I've never, you know, the times that I've seen you guys at large car and in uh, different places like uh, ATHS. Yeah. I've not seen this one. So you well, guys have had it in the barn all, all yeah. you know, tucked away. Yeah. Well, it, it stays in the barn. Yeah. It, uh, actually, and, uh, yeah. It, Actually, all the plastic was still in the double eagle when Dad got it. it really? up, the guy got it put on and went through a big divorce and never, and he had to sold the truck. So, really? Yep, all the plastic was still inside. It still got like a new smell. Everything is like unmolested inside. It nice. Very. And the same thing with the mural? Looks yep. like that? Well, it had a mural, uh -huh. but not that detailed. My uncle does that for a living. He's the one that did that. Okay, what's your uncle's name? Uh, Mike Lamborn, they call him Mountain Man. He does, he's real big into the bikes. He's don't painting bikes, but he'll do stuff like this. Okay. Yep. Very nice. So uh, does that door open there? Yes, on the sir. Sleeper? Yep. A little bit of a mess in here. Let's have a look in there. Very nice. That smell. Yeah, it's just got that smell. Yeah. I, yeah. It's great. You might see some kids' toys in there, but no, it ain't no, no. too bad. Yeah, no, that's what it's all about. Let's take a peek into uh, the cab. Yep. My uh, uncle, he's the one that did all the hardwood flooring. My dad did the hardwood flooring, but other than that, it's all unmolested. Okay. Put two seats in it years ago, but mm -hmm. it's all original. All original. It's, it's not too uh, not too common in uh, in most cases, but. When a guy can say things is all things are all original. Yeah, that's really great. So what's the the plan after the show? Are you guys going to drive it back and tuck yep. it away? Yeah, that that's what it does. I mean, we don't work his truck. I mean, it's 
a V8, I mean, that's two miles a gallon, and we get trucks that's getting five miles a gallon, so. Yeah, that is true. Uh, it's just one of them trucks, that it's just, you don't want to work it in case something ever happens, you know, it yeah. means way too much to us. So. Yeah, I hear you. Now, speaking of V8, can we, can we look underneath the hood? Yeah. yeah. You know, I might even ask you to start it, too. If it, oh, no, you got, uh, you got things over the side. Oh, I can peel them off real quick. Oh, well. Hey, well, if you're willing to do that, who would All say right. no to listening to a V8 cat? Sir, that's a real deal there. Yeah, it's all motor. I mean, it ain't got much room for air. Nice. Now, maybe you guys, you brought it here for the, you know, to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Mid-America yeah. Stock Show. Maybe you can think of it that way. Yeah, there. yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it, uh, I'm just glad to bring it back out. Yeah, let's look around the other side here. It's not very much room to spare in there. No, it's that. all, it's all motor. Yep. All right, so we got the, the covers off the stack. Cody's going to fire her up here. Go for it, sir. All right. So, you know, uh, what was it like, uh, nostalgia-wise, you know, what, what is it like running a, a, a V8 cat for maybe those that haven't, haven't driven one? What, what's that like? Oh, it's a lot of fun. I'm, I'm a V8 man. I don't know a lot about them, but uh, I've grown up around them. We've had them for my whole life, and uh, they're just a lot of fun. They just got a sound of their own. They're, you can't beat the sound of a V8, in my opinion. But uh, yeah. I'm just, I love the sound of them. They just, especially this thing with them eight inches, it just, it's got a tone all its own. Yeah. Now, what about power wise, you know, uh, compared I mean, to the other things that you guys might have in your fleet? Uh, yeah, I mean, th these, they're rated at 450. I mean, yeah, they're out there running better. I mean, uh, I mean, dad's done a little bit to this thing, so it does pretty good with a load. He used to, he's used to, he's ran it years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, compared to, I mean, compared to some of these electronics, you ain't going to beat them. I mean, they're just, so much you can do to them. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it does good for what it is. I mean, yeah. I, yeah. So just mo much more reliable power, and then you just the power is just there yeah. when, when you're when you're under load or. Well, I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, it, when you step down this, it's there. I mean, I will say that it is pretty peppy for you know an older motor. I mean, it. Uh, but like these electronics, I mean, they're there right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, Cody, thanks so much for uh, for taking some time to, you know, talk and, you know, open the hood up and let us yep. see what you guys got running there. Yep, Chris. Uh, I really appreciate it. Well, I appreciate you, Chris. All right, man. We'll see you. Thank you. Oh, and uh, uh, what class are you guys coming I'm in the antique class. Antique Just class. the antique. Yep. All right. Well, good luck. All right, Chris. Thank you. Oh, yeah.